Yeah. All right. Well, here's the final one. And it is about WWE, but, you know, maybe we can go with a little tangent here. And at Katie First Lady says, who would have predicted that Brock Lesnar would be WWE champion at the start of his 20th year? Hashtag tweet the table. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's a big deal. Oh, but it's not as it's mm-hmm. not his real 20th, right? There was a long tangent where he was in the UFC. Oh, right. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like he wasn't doing this yeah. year in year out for right. twenty years. Yeah, and but and even at that, like it, for for me, all right, they're releasing everybody is WWE, right? Releasing Seems a crap ton of people, mm-hmm. a whole bunch of people. Seems like they're consolidating. They're going to go to one champion, right? Like if you're going to consolidate and you're going to give me your Brock Lesnar's, your even if it was a John Cena, like if you gave me people who we know like can capture an audience, will bring in ratings. If you're telling good fucking stories with it, that's great. That's better. I'm fine with that. I'd rather see that than fucking whatever you're going to call Elias next. Right? Like, fine. Great. But I, the bad story is the bad story no matter who you paste it on. So mm-hmm. I'm not going to watch it while the story is bad. But if the story is good, well, fuck, Brock Lesnar is going to be better than a lot of the people doing it. It's just the problem is it's usually, I'm Brock Lesnar. No one can beat me. And that's true. Right? So we just kind of go like, all right. You know? Yep. Yeah. I mean, to I saw the credit, this they have, in... they've had a couple people knock him off, but it's still, you know. But it was, but it was always this Brock Lesnar's caught off guard. Like, what? I I think the last story that needs to be told with Brock Lesnar that would be interesting, and maybe it happens with Bobby Lashley. Maybe I'm fucking over exaggerating and I'm missing the boat. Somebody but can the, overpower him. Is the but not even overpower him, but like. You know what Brock Lesnar did to John Cena at SummerSlam where it was like laughing at him and still throwing him around? That's the last story that needs to be told with Brock Lesnar is whoever that person is, like Thanos is him and is just laughing at him as he's just kicking his fucking ass. So, and this is what I'm saying, like, let's say, okay, if your WWE TV is Brock Lesnar primarily, right? If he's a champion for, let's say, a couple of years, but like it's the tail end of his career, He's now, you know what I mean, not as quick and not as, you know, he's still bigger than most, quicker than most, but he knows like, hey, I'm only going to do this for another year or whatever. Mm-hmm. Then you can run that storyline where Brock Lesnar isn't the Brock Lesnar he used to be and he's going through his existential fucking crisis. Paul Heyman's trying to help, whatever. We could get amazing fucking television out of this and we won't. <laughs> I mean, right? Like that's just—it's just not gonna happen that way. <laughs> You're hundred percent correct. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Gonna go. God he's gonna damn. wrestle once a year, maybe like the Undertaker did for a while, and then once in a while, the, like he'll lose one, and they'll be like, "Oh, I really put over the new kid." Damien Priest. But he'll lose kid. in the same way he you lost know? to Seth Rollins, <laughs> where yeah. it's the ref is looking the other way. That that wrestler got a low blow in on him and then just does 72 finishers. And then that's yeah. how he beats him. God. Whatevs. Hey, let's talk about, so that was the last tweet the table. Correct? That was the last tweet the table. Yep. 